Hey everybody, welcome to the Modern Mainframe. I'm here with my main man, Jake's Olafu. We're here to talk about modernizing the mainframe and there's a very elite group of people who've done it. A lot of people talk about it, but there aren't a lot of people who've done it and you're a part of that group, Jake. So what I wanna do, why don't you walk us through what they did at NedBank. Walk us through the journey that you guys did transforming your mainframe. Great, so our DevOps journey started probably about six years ago. Uh, really focusing on distributed, so the, the priority was with the digital channels, um, with the digital transformation, but we soon learned that we couldn't leave the mainframe behind. So shortly after that, we started looking at uh, ways of bringing DevOps to the mainframe. Um, and, and initially it felt like a very daunting task, um, but once we started digging into it, we actually found that doable and actually not that hard. That's great. And I mean, that's very similar to the, to the approach that I've seen, not only my own journey when we did this where I was at, but in a lot of the other um, companies that I talked to. So when you started down this transformation, especially on the mainframe side, wh what were some of the what were some of the biggest hurdles that you ran into? What were some of the what were some of the things that got thrown up in you know in your way, stumbling blocks? I think it's it's definitely the fear of change, um, dealing with the aging developer community. Um, they're very much set in their ways. Um, but when we started unpacking it, we actually found that because it's a shared platform, a lot of these guys were actually doing some DevOps practices for years already. Okay. Um, so once we got in there, once we showed them the benefits, uh, they pretty much got hooked straight away and they were interested and they were on board. That is, uh, again, I mean, that's, that's so similar to my own story and a lot of the stories that I, that I hear throughout the industry. So. If you were starting one today, so let's say there's someone watching this 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 podcast, and they're doing they're going to start a mainframe transformation, give them some advice. Where where should you start? Where like like what should you what should you do first? So the approach we took was to do some value stream mapping, really to understand what the process was, where the hotspots were. Um, and, and that gave us some priority actions to address for the developers. Um, so we, we unpacked that, did some investigations around tooling options, and we really showcased these options to the developers. So instead of, like we did in the past, doing it to them, we did it with them. Okay. Um, and, and, and that really made them part of the journey and they could see the benefits straight away. How key was that bottom-up approach? How, how key was having that buy-in from the lower levels versus that top-down, like, thou shalt do this mentality? Like, like, like how key was that? We, we definitely saw with uh, previous initiatives, um, if you don't include them from the word go, um, they really kick against it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just, just showing the guys the benefit, the, the art of the possible, right. um, really got their interest spot. So, one of the things we're, we're hearing about, or I'm hearing about in the market, is a lot of people talking about Git. They, you know, they want to consolidate all their source code onto a single SEM platform, and Git being the, the, the platform of choice for everybody, they want to consolidate on Git. Is that in your scope? Is that is that on the roadmap for NetBank, or like where are you guys falling in that discussion? Yeah, we don't want to disrupt the guys unnecessarily, but what we definitely see happening is as we're going down this journey, we see people organizing around value, and that means that some of our distributed teams might in the future have a couple of mainframe developers in there as well and giving them the ability to use a single source code, i.e. Git, would prove invaluable to them. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that, I hate to keep hammering on the same thing, but that's the exact story that we're, that we're hearing. So, the, the other thing, sorry, oh, um, what we also see is the guys coming out of university, the graduates we're taking up, they've got Git knowledge already. Um, so are, are you looking at this as an answer to some of your aging workforce, you know, retirements? Yeah, that's it. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. 
the, the people that, that are coming out of university, the younger engineers that they're coming in, they want those tools, right? They want those tools that they're using. They want those capabilities that they're used to using. And giving them that makes the mainframe just another platform, right? Just another, just another capability. So we've talked a lot about technologies. Now, let's talk people, process, and culture. How much have you seen the culture change at NedBank, not just uh, not just in general, but on the mainframe specifically. Like, like, talk us through how that culture change has affected NetBank, and what are some of the outcomes of this? So, I mean, anybody can bring tools in and implement some technology, but like, what kind of benefits have you guys seen? So, we identified sort of an organizational culture as a priority up front, and uh, some of the benefits we saw was quicker flow. Um, higher quality. Um, so in the past, obviously because of lots of manual intervention, we had a lot of finger problems. Um, but with automation, that sort of went away. Those are just the kind of stories I love to hear, right? When people go in and they make things better. So let's get a lightning round in here. Let's get a lightning round in here, Jake. Let's, let's, let's talk about you know some quick yes, no, yes, no answers, okay? First things first. Automate everything or automate some things? Automate everything, um, but within reason. I think it's important to prioritize what you want to automate. Um, so obviously focus on the big wins up front. Um, so if it's something you do regularly and it takes you a lot of time, that would be a prime. Okay. Uh, everyone go to Git or everyone stay on the mainframe or in between? I I think eventually we'll all end up on Git, um, but I do also think if we're dealing with a mainframe only team, it might not be necessary. You know, to go and disrupt them um, might not be worth it, because they'll have to obviously gain the Git knowledge. Got it. But if that is where the world is going and most of the developers coming into the market has that knowledge, then that's a much easier transition. Gotcha. You know what, Jakes? I really appreciate you being here, and thank you very much for coming on the Modern Mainframe. Always a pleasure. Thank Absolutely. you for having me. You have a good one, man. Sure.